Hi and welcome everyone. Again, in this video, I want to go over the Cauchy Schwartz and Triangle inequalities, uh, which involves the dot product and the magnitude or the norm of vectors. So let's start with Cauchy Schwartz inequality. It says uh, if u and v are vectors in Rn, again, Rn, it could be R2, R3, R4, and so on then the absolute value of the dot product is less than or equal to the product of their norms or right their magnitudes again this is the uh, times this is product and norms are just numbers let's see how this works and i put the note here for you so that just mean absolute value of u dot v let's first check this in r2 with a simple example I pick this <clears throat> vector, the components are one, two, and then V is two, three. U dot V, you know, you can write it like that. Just multiply the corresponding components and add them. It's eight. Absolute value of U dot V is absolute value of eight, which is just eight. Now let's find their magnitude. The magnitude of u square root of the dot product u dot u itself, or you can just use, uh, we saw that the Pythagorean theorem is going to be the first component squared plus the second component squared, and you take square root of that. So u dot u is the same thing as that. So, and if you calculate, you'd ex you get square root of five. The magnitude of v is squared of v dot v and uh, that's going to be two squared plus three squared and it's going to be squared of 13. if you multiply the magnitudes it's just squared of five times squared of 13 and that's going to give you squared of 35 which is approximately 8.06 the absolute value of u dot v we found that was eight so we see clearly it's less than 8.06 now the proof of this is very interesting. So let's go over the proof of the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality. A couple of cases you have to take. Case one, consider that u is zero. So, and the dot product of the zero vector with any vector is gonna be zero. So the absolute value of zero is just zero. Norm of u times norm of v, again, this is times, norm of the zero vector is zero times any number is going to give you zero so in this case we get equal and worse because it says less than or equal to so it checks so it's true for u equals to zero case two if u is not equal to zero that's a little bit different so please listen very carefully it's an interesting proof first we consider a real number t so then you can write a vector w as t times u plus v. We know that the norm of w or the magnitude of w squared is w dot w and it's positive because the norm of a vector or the magnitude of a vector is always greater or equal to zero. When I say positive, I meant no negative because it can, can be zero. So let's calculate that the norm of u w squared is the same thing as w dot w always remember that please these are the same thing in the next lectures next chapters we're gonna use that so let's substitute we know that this is w dot w you can foil or expand t times t is t squared and you get u dot u which is right here and t times u dot v plus t times u dot v and plus v dot v so we get t squared u dot u plus 2t u dot v plus v dot v now if we call u dot u to be a and 2 times u dot v to be b and v dot v to be c then if i substitute that's a that's b and that's c 
So basically here I wrote it, and if you substitute, you get a t squared plus b t plus c. This is a quadratic expression. Now, why did we do that? Let's review a little bit of algebra here. When we have a quadratic equation, if this quantity ax squared plus bx plus c is greater or equal to zero for x, all x values, then the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is going to be less than or equal to zero. In this case, you either get two complex roots or a repeated root. For example, x squared plus 4, this is always positive for any x. So if you calculate b squared minus 4ac, you get negative 16. And again, we know the roots are two complex roots. In this case, x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals to 0. That's just x plus 2 squared. So it's always positive. If you calculate b squared minus 4ac, you get 0. So you have a repeated root. So basically, if that's uh, positive or equal to 0, that part, then you're going to get one of these possibilities, as you see in this example. Therefore, b squared minus 4ac, which is called the discriminant, will be always less than or equal to 0. Why did I do that? Now, if we continue the proof, so we showed that this quantity is always positive because of that. So now if it's, this is always positive, then b squared minus 4ac will be less than or equal to 0. So, and we know that u dot u was a, 2 dot uv is b, and v dot b was c. So if we substitute that, we have b squared, that means 2 times u dot b squared minus 4 times u dot u, which is a v dot b, which you see should be less than or equal to 0. You can take that to the other side. So you get 4 u dot v squared equals to 4 u dot v times u u dot u times u v dot v. We can cancel the fours, so we're left with that. Now, if we take square root of both sides, then we get, since we take square root of both sides, then you have to write absolute value. So absolute value of u dot v becomes square root of u dot v times square root of v dot v. But what is u dot u? It just the norm of u squared. What is v dot v is just the norm of v squared. So therefore, now square root and the square, you can take the, the square root out because it's square. So you get u norm of u times norm of v. And as we see, that's the triangle, the uh, Cauchy short inequality. Now let's go over the triangle inequality is that. So the triangle inequality, let's see what, the, what that says. It says the norm of u plus v is less than norm of u plus norm of v. I put a little note from geometry. When we have a triangle, we know that side A is less than or equal to side B plus C, the sum of other sides. Side B is less than or equal to A plus C, and side C is less than or equal to A plus B. I did take a little example here to see if that works. Let's take the same vectors, U components 1, 2, and V components with components 2, 3. Norm of U plus B is just going to be norm of the sum of these two vectors. So it's going to be norm of the vector 3, 5. And if you want to find that, and again, if you use the formula, you get square root of 3 squared plus 5 squared. And that's 25 plus 9, which is 34. Norm of v. Now we're going to norm of v. We're going to calculate the norm separately. So it's norm of that vector 
and again use the formula and you get square root of five. Norm of V is norm of that vector. And then if you use the components, you get square root of four plus nine, which is square root of 13. Let's check. So square norm of U plus B was square root of 34. Is that less than or equal to square root of five plus square root of 13? If you use your calculator, you get for the left side, you get 5.83 and for the right side, you get 5.84. So it checks. Proof. Norm of U plus V, again, always remember that formula. Norm of V, this is just a vector. Norm of U plus V squared is just V U plus V dot U plus V itself. Now, if we expand that, this is U dot U plus two U dot V plus V dot V. That what is u dot u is just the norm of u or magnitude of u squared plus you can leave this like that don't touch it v dot v is going to give us norm of v squared however from so so far these two sides are equal but we know that norm of u v from cauchy shorts is less than or equal to norm of u times I mean, absolute value u dot v is less than or equal to norm of u times norm of v. So if we take that and substitute that by norm of u times norm of v, then this side becomes greater than that. So you can just change the sign of the inequality from equal to less than or equal to. So we do use Cauchy shorts inequality to prove the triangle inequality. So now once we change that, you can factor the right side. Norm of u squared plus two times norm of u, norm of v plus v squared is norm of u plus v squared. And this side, we just had norm of u plus v squared. And we know both sides are positive. So taking square root of both sides here, you don't need to take the absolute value. Just get rid of the squares and you get norm of u plus v is less than or equal to norm of u plus norm of v. Now I do have, if you have two vectors, u, v, if you add them, then you get that. And if I just take one side, I get that triangle. So that's why we call it triangle uh, inequality because the norm of that is going to be less than or equal to the sum of the norm of the other side, just like we saw that in geometry and we have the proof. Now there's an interesting case. If U is perpendicular orthogonal to V, then we know if two vectors are perpendicular, the dot product will be zero. So if I write this again, this middle, term will be equal to zero. Therefore, we are left with u plus v norm squared plus u norm of u squared plus norm of v squared. And that's what happens. And guess what? This is just the Pythagorean theorem. So again, please uh, watch this video two, three times, uh, all the steps. And uh, this, uh, these are interesting proof. The first one is not very obvious if, if you haven't seen it before, but uh, try to watch it and redo those proofs yourself without uh, looking at the video or the lecture notes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.